Hi, this is Michelle Zarati, Light Karate, and in this video I'm going to share with you all who and what drives me to succeed in all aspects of my life. I really hope you enjoy it. So what I wanted to show you all first is my vision board that I have hung up in my room. Um, this is in my room and I look at it every day. What this is, like I said, it's my vision board. So uh, <laughs> I'm kind of nervous because this is very personal for me. Um, this is everything and everyone that is driving me to succeed and it drives me to, to be a better person, to do better in my life, to walk a better spiritual walk with, with them, <laughs> with my Lord. Uh, so I'm going to get more detailed with this. I'm going to put this down so I can sit down. Um, so the two most important people in my life are my parents. And they have sacrificed everything for me and my four sisters. I, I am the baby of the family. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. um, my parents both came into this country as immigrants and from working several jobs to make it out alive to moving us around to get us to a better way of living. They, they've done so much and they continue to do so much when all their kids are grown. They're still there for us, giving us and helping us and encouraging us. So I have them on my board because I want to give back to them. So one day, I hope that I can either buy them a house or buy them a car or buy something or do something for them that they truly appreciate. That, that is my biggest thing. I want to work so hard and have so much money saved so I can give back at least half of what they've given to me because I don't think I'll ever be able to fully <laughs> give them back what they've done for me. I just hope that I can be a parent as giving as they are. On my board, I also have my nieces and my nephews. I have 10. <laughs> and there's probably more on the way. There's probably more that's coming. And someday I'm probably going to have my own. But I have them on there because they're, they're a young generation. I'm someone that I want to be their role model. I want to be the one that inspires them to do better. I want to be the one that they look at and say, wow, my Thea did that. My Thea lived a life that she's proud of, lived a life making as little bad decisions as possible. And trust me, I've made my mistakes. <laughs> and uh, sometimes it's embarrassing some of these mistakes I've done, but no matter what I do, no matter what invitations people ask me to do to, to be a part of the things that they want to do, I always have them in the back of my head saying, what would they do <laughs> if they saw their Thea doing that? I don't want to break their hearts. I, I just want to be that, that person, <laughs> that person in their life that, other than their parents, that, you know, that's the one I want to be like. That's my Thea Michelle, she did it. And I wish I could say I was super close with all my nieces and nephews, but uh, sadly I'm not. I'm close with a lot of them, but I know I can be a lot more involved in their lives as I want to, which I'm working on that. <laughs> and I know I have time, but Time is of the essence, so I, I know I need to work on that. I also have my boyfriend on the uh, my vision board because we have goals and dreams of getting married. We've talked about it since um, our six months of dating, which I have a promise ring here <laughs> he gave me in six months. We've always been uh, on the same page. We've always had big dreams, big goals. He's He's really good to me. <laughs> it's kind of funny to talk about this, but um, he's he's my biggest encourager, my biggest supporter. I appreciate him a lot. He's done so much for me. Uh, I love him, and I I want to 
spend the rest of my life with him and I want to give back to him as well because even though we're only dating and we don't live together, we haven't, we haven't experienced the marriage lifestyle. We're very excited to walk that next season of our lives. Uh, I'm excited. <laughs> Maybe some of you will come to the wedding. <laughs> Um, I also have on my board mission trips that I've been to. I've been to Africa, I've been to the Philippines, I've been to Mexico. Um, I have I have it on my heart to go back to the Philippines. I, I'm in very good contact with people I met out there. <laughs> and um, they call me Michele, and in Africa they call me Michele there, but they also call me Bebe. And, I have a big heart for those in need and going on mission trips and charity events has always been one of the biggest things I enjoy, one of the biggest things that I love. Uh, there's, it's very heartbreaking, honestly, when you go out to these different countries and you see how people live and, and you see how much we take for granted what we're doing. I mean, I, I go to my house and I have my kitchen full of food and sometimes I'm like, eh, you know what, I'm just going to go get drive through. I mean, how blessed are we to be able to at least stop somewhere and pick up food that's cheap and be able to afford that? When these people out here in Africa, they're running low on food that they can home make, let alone the drive throughs I was in the Congo and the, one of the stories I'm always going to remember that I really want to see this girl again. She was a teenage girl and when I went to Africa, I was 16 years old. She was, I think, a year younger than me. And they don't have much up there. But right before we left, and I was there for an entire month, right before we left, she gave me money. She gave me all the money she had left. And I told her I couldn't accept this. <laughs> and I started crying because it really touched my heart to see someone who has nothing give what they have. And, uh, so I, <laughs> she got offended, so I just, I took it because I didn't want to offend her either because I know how the culture is out there. So I left her all I had, I left her all the clothes I had left in my suitcase, and I know it's, it's not enough. I mean, I'm happy with what I was able to give, but I want to go back and give more. Uh, and in the Philippines too, the, the young kids I got really close to. They consistently write me on Facebook, and we always tell each other how much we love each other and how much we're going to see each other again. And I wanted to go last year, but I didn't have the chance. So it's it's big for me on my vision board, on my goals for the year to go back. I, I really want to go back. I need to go back. I, I want to be a part of their lives. I don't want to just be the person that went on one mission trip and never came back. I want this to be part of my life. I want to work, have vacations, be helping people. I don't want to just make my life all about me. I, I, I just think that's so wrong to live for yourself and buy yourself designer bags and things we don't need. I, I want to give to those who really need it. Uh, I'm sorry I'm so emotional. <laughs> this is the first time I've shared personal information out for the world to see or not the world yet, at least. Um, I also have my sisters on there. I have four sisters, like I said, and I'm the youngest. I have my sisters on there because we grew up together since we were kids. I mean, we have a connection regardless of where we all are in our lives. We have those connections, and I may be the baby sister, but I also want to hopefully inspire them, um, make them proud, tell their kids, about me. I just, I want to leave a good seed in each of their minds about who I am. Which, like I said earlier, I've made my mistakes and I'm still making mistakes and I'm still working on fixing things I've done and mending relationships, but I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm going to church, I'm doing my Bible studies, I'm, I'm trying my best. I need to do a quick little sneak peek because I'm losing my train of thought here. Oh, yes, okay. Uh, this is kind of a funny story. So I have my dream house on my vision board, which you're going to see behind me. It's in Apple Valley, and it's behind the St. Mary's 
area, the St. Mary's Hospital area, and my house that I want, me and my boyfriend want it really bad. It's on Minaka Road. <laughs> we drive by there quite often. Um, I've taken pictures of it. I, I'm telling you, I want this house. So after I'm able to get my parents their, their um, what I'm able to get them, and after me and my boyfriend get married, we want that house. That's, <laughs> that's on the agenda. It has that beautiful Mediterranean look, so uh, I know I'm gonna get there someday. And I'm gonna just pop this up one more time. On here I have little sayings, find your course to success. And this is my course to success. Giving back. It's, it's, I don't want it to be I, I, I. I want it to be others before I. I believe that that's, that's what Jesus would want. And I don't know if many of you are believers, but I am. And that's something that he lived his life to do for others. I mean, he died on the cross for us. And I may not die <laughs> on the cross for them, but I want them to go before me at all times. Use failure as fuel. Now this is gonna be a whole nother video because I have had a lot of failures. Uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll see in another video to come. Um, this says action. I always say one of my biggest sayings is action speak louder than words. Strength, you need to be strong. Especially in the career I'm in, in real estate, you're gonna get a lot of no's. And there's been times I wanted to quit, but I kept going and I'm gonna continue to go. I don't, I don't quit, I don't, I don't fail. I mean, I do fail, but I don't like to stay in failure. Uh, fitness, oh my gosh, I am so bad with fitness. <laughs> I'll be working out for like a week or something, and then I'm just like, you know what? Having my career is more important than getting fit, but I know that my health matters, so I, I need to get back to that. This is how you roll, this is how I roll. This is who I am. Everyone has a different story, but this is mine. Smiling. Um, the people that know me best know that I am a very big smiler. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I have big teeth, so I mean, I gotta have to. And ready. I have to make sure I'm always ready. I want to be ready for the future. Uh, when I have my future family and I have my own kids, I want to be ready. I don't want to be struggling because that means they're gonna struggle. And right here in the middle are all my goals for the year. Um, I don't want to take up too much more time because I know I've spoken a lot, but I have more goals on here than what I have explained. But this video anyways is more about what is motivating me the most. So I really hope that um, you guys understand me a little bit more of, of why I do the things I do and, and understand who I am a little bit more. I know it's harder to get to know someone through a camera but I just want you to know that this, none of this that I just shared was scripted. I didn't practice any of this. This truly all came from my heart. This is what is constantly in the back of my head. This is what's on my mind. These are the things I cry about. These are the things I pray about. These are the things that are constantly there. Uh, but I know I'm gonna get there someday. And I, um, I'm happy to say that you guys are all gonna be a part of the journey or at least watching through camera. <laughs> so thank you again, and please subscribe if you want. If you don't, I won't get offended. But thank you so much. Bye.